Well, this screencast is about how to add color to your Atom 5100 painting. You've made a painting using stencil set, hopefully because you've gone from light to dark or vice versa, um, to give your painting a sense of depth. Like you could reach into it and actually grab on to objects, and it's not flat like a piece of paper. Well, to add color, I'm hoping that you'll go about it to help tell your story better. You know, you're supposed to pick an event from your life, and the values give you the depth, but color can give it a mood. So take a look at this. God bless you, Dad. Um, you can use color value, lights, darks, medium tones, to add depth to your painting, uh, which was what we were doing. We took the color out, we're just using the value. Now we're going to add in some color, and color can be used to make something more real. Like if you're painting a banana, you'd paint it yellow, you wouldn't paint it blue because you want it to look like a real banana. Um, but you can also use color to create a mood, and the way to do that is to think about color schemes and how you can use them to help tell your story. So one of the ways, oh, a color scheme is just a color plan, it's the art word for um, planning out your colors, a scheme. And I like to go into Google and do a search for color scheme generator, and up will come web pages that will help you pick out colors, and you can test out how they look together. There are three main uh, color schemes that artists use. Um, there's some other ones, but these three ones come up quite often. A monochromatic color scheme, mono meaning one, chromatic meaning color, one color scheme uh, tends to make something soothing. If you have a picture that has a lots of different lines, different values, lots of different, 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 you can use just one single color to kind of calm it all down and make it easier on your eye to look at. Let's take a look at what that would look like. Monochromatic color scheme, using it to tell a story. So over here I have this painting and I'm going to try just making it all in shades of blue. Bam, there it is. Maybe blue because she's feeling blue. Maybe blue because her feelings been hurt. But that's one ah. way of changing the colors. Just make the whole thing one color. Or maybe make part of it a color, like green with envy, and leave the rest of it in shades of gray. That'll give you a stronger focal area. But you're also telling that story, once again, through the color. Or how about red? Red on those hearts, like the glass is keeping her warm feeling of love reaching her because she's bottled up and inside. You know, one color can do a lot to tell a story. Now, let's uh. take a look at the second scheme. A complementary color scheme uses opposite colors. Colors that are opposite on the color wheel. Just like black and white are opposite values, we can look at a color wheel like this one. Here's my color scheme generator. And if I click on here, I'm moving this slider around and it's showing you to the right what that one color scheme would look like. But here's complements, two dots on the color wheel. And I'm moving them around. It's either, it's always a cool against a warm. Here's my warm colors over here, my cool colors over here. And as I move it around, you're seeing the tension between those two ah. separate colors and variations of those two colors. Okay? So let's take a look at what that looks like in a painting. Here's this painting of angels. I think they're playing basketball. But what would happen if the painting was all in shades of orange? It has a different kind of feel to it than just in gray. A little more richer, a little more heat to the battle. Here it is in blue. Kind of calms it down, blue does. Makes it a little softer. Maybe it thinks, makes it think of night. It makes me think of night. But here it is in those complementary colors. Orange, oh, let me turn this one off orange against blue. You can see the tension between the two angels. Who's going to win? Is the ball telling us the story? I don't know. But at least you can see how that happens. Now in our next video, I want to show you how to use these layers to add color without messing up your painting. So remember, we're trying to tell a story and using color to go a little deeper. In our next one, we'll take a look at analogous and how that can be used to add to your story as well. So bye-bye.